Okay, well, this is C H Z. C H Z. And you can barely read it. But that right there says 1874. C H C, 1874. We have more down here. I haven't been able to check out the dates yet. Just got here. Um, and if you look over here, we have J. H. Wood, 1870. I mean, that's a 70. That uh, represents 1870. Columbus, Georgia. We have some more writings down here, carvings, initials. And then we have Blackshear, E. H. Blackshear. W H E for initials. January or J A N. E R D Dennis. Who is E R Dennis? It appears that says uh, big zero and possibly I would say that would have been a seven, so that would have represented eighteen seventy. More, oh, wow. That's new to me. Whoa. Wow, so that is Colonel H. Blackshear. Holy. question than when this was oh wow when this was put here it does look like it won't be here forever because of this fracture um, so it does look like this would break off eventually and then end up in the river um, not anytime soon but that piece is going to lost in the river eventually. Wow. Wow. That's all I got to say is wow. What, 174, 176 years ago? Or whatever. I can't believe it. <laughs> Just can't believe it. Rose Hill is packed with hidden things that we just walk by every day. And one reason is because of erosion and like uh, winds and ant beds and leaves piling up over 174 years. There's a lot of things under the ground and I find them every day. Just, just about every day. Every time I do a monument there's something interesting that's been covered up over time and it's just a neat thing. It's a neat job. It's why I, one of the reasons why I love it is because every time I come here for the past four years every day just about um, there is something new every single time I come here. It's amazing. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Huh. That just blows my mind. It just blows my mind. So I'm here now. Um, I'm going to go upstream. Um, and I'm going to put the camera under the water and since it's so low see if there's any kind of uh, remnants from the past that might possibly be on the banks of the river even though there was a huge flood in 1994 um, but things are heavy they sink to the ground this is the deepest spot along Rose Hill Cemetery from the Bond Monument all the way to Central Avenue is really really deep uh, compared to the rest of the river, so 
um, things would end up getting trapped down in the deep end because it was shallow out so fast, you know, towards Spring Street that anything heavy rolling and tumbling on the bottom of the river would eventually get stuck. So that's my plan today is just see um, some video underwater and God, it would be so great to find some kind of piece of something you know that could have possibly gotten tossed into the river in 1954 from the tornado that ripped through the bond site and through Oak Ridge Cemetery and um, guarantee with a tornado it will pick up a piece of a uh, ledger uh, you know six foot long ledger and toss it like a frisbee so fingers crossed and uh, this is gonna be fun